Uh, my name's Will Jackson. I'm the director of Engineered Arts. Um, we're a small company based in the UK uh, that specialises in building robots. Building robots is not just about mechanics, it's not just about making pieces of metal, uh, it's about software, it's about engineering, it's about mechanical engineering, and it's really about integration, it's about putting all of those things together to, to make a, a, a working system, a working machine. There are currently 18 members of the engineered arts team. They come from a variety of backgrounds. It's very multidisciplinary, so uh, everybody from creative people who are working on the design or the content, the kind of things the robot would say and do, how the robot would look, through to mechanical engineers who are designing perhaps the, how it would move in a particular way, electronic uh, engineers who are designing the transistors, the chips and the components and the circuit boards they go on to. So there's many different aspects uh, to building a robot like this. In the offices upstairs, the designers and engineers use computer-aided design systems to develop new and improved versions of the robots. Downstairs, every model is assembled by hand in the factory workshop. But you're never going to find any of the robots they are building here working in a factory. When they are finished, these robots won't be replacing workers on an assembly line. They'll be in the spotlight, on a stage, in front of an audience. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal. Robothespian is about automating acting. And we had an idea, this goes back about 12 years, uh, we were asked to do some science explanation for a science museum and we kind of thought the best way to do it was just get a person to talk about it. But a person doesn't want to repeat the same story all day, every day. So we thought, well, you know, maybe we could automate this kind of storytelling and come up with a, a robotic actor uh, to take the tedious role away from a human. So. Uh, rather than having to repeat the same story to every person that comes along, uh, the robot could do it for you. So that, that was the birth of the idea for Robothespian. Robothespian can be pre-programmed with 3D animation software. The user can choose in advance what the robot is going to say, what actions it's going to use, and even when its cheeks are going to change colour during a performance. And Robothespian can also be controlled remotely. The robot has cameras, so the operator, who can be anywhere, is able to see through the robot's eyes. The operator can then directly interact with an audience, speaking through the robot. Did you enjoy that? Giving the illusion that the robot is alive and thinking, that the robot is sentient. The robot software has face recognition technology, so its camera eyes are always scanning for faces, making eye contact with its audience. The movement of its head, the way it engages with the audience, and even how it blinks, all add to the illusion that the robot is human. And all of these characteristics are vital to its purpose. The only reason to make a human-shaped robot is to talk to you. Um, because that's what you're used to. You're used to something that makes eye contact with you, uh, that smiles at you, that might wave to you. These are the ways we communicate as people. And if I want to make a machine to communicate with people, I need to emulate those human characteristics. <laughs> 